Hello, hello, gang. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. It's another candle video today, you guys, and I am super excited to be filming this one because this is going to be my first ever Homeworks slash Slatkin and Co. haul. Now, this is a company that I've heard so much about over the years, but not always good things. Historically, I had heard a lot of, well, let me just say that people's, people had had a lot of problems with the strength and the throw of, of these candles. Not so much when this brand first came onto the scene in, I think it was 2017, 2018. Around there and into 2019, I believe that these candles were super strong. Like they would literally scent the whole floor of your home or your apartment. And then something went wrong and there were lots of complaints around 2021, I think 2022, about these candles really lacking in strength and throw. And because it costs me so much money to get these candles to where I live, because these are not available in South Africa, I had always decided that I wouldn't take a chance because if I'm going to spend that amount of money on getting my purchases to Johannesburg in South Africa, then I definitely don't want to be buying duds. However, in the last year or so, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and seen a lot of Facebook posts about this brand and a lot of people saying that they really believe that an effort is being made to increase the strength and throw and that in general, these candles are now performing much better than they were a few years ago. Now, I decided to take the plunge because of the positive reviews that I was seeing and hearing and what you're seeing on your screen right now, guys, is my first ever haul from Homeworks, also known as Slatkin & Co. So what I think the situation is, is that Slatkin & Co. is the main company, but then they have different sort of, I don't want to say brands, but they have different lines that they release under that brand or under that name, that company name. And these specific candles that come in these type of jars and with this look, these are known as Homeworks candles. Now, I'm probably telling a lot of you stuff you already know, but for those of you who may be watching this video and are not that familiar with candles, I just thought I'd give you that rundown. Also, guys, I will put a link to the website down below in the uh, description box. So for those of you who want to go and have a look around, definitely use that link. I... Um, I know that these candles are also available on, I don't know if it's a, a TV selling platform called QVC. I'm sure you guys in the States all know exactly what I'm talking about. I obviously am just giving you information that I've heard. So uh, the candles can also be bought or sourced there, but I just think using the website is far easier. And then also you don't have to buy doubles. Apparently when you order over QVC, you sometimes have to buy doubles of the candles. So the link below in the description box will be to the website. Guys, please just know that this is a brand that often has sales. Like every single week, there is a different sale. So these candles at full price are priced at $30. Do not pay that <laughs> because there are always sales. Just check the website on a daily basis or every two days or over the weekend or whatever. And normally the sales that they're having will be on the website. So for example, on the day that I'm filming this, there is currently a buy two for $44 sale. That makes each candle $22. I can tell you guys that that is not a specifically good sale. Uh, there are often sales that are better than that. So perhaps hold off until a better sale comes. If you want to, if you're happy buying two for 44, then that's also fine. So totally up to you. Just to let you know, also you do get free shipping on orders over $100. And every now and then, Homeworks will drop that that limit. So just recently, I think it was last week, they actually had a sale and they dropped the free shipping limit to $50. So really, you just have to keep your eye on the website if you're interested on buy, in buying and then obviously buy when you see a sale or a deal that you are comfortable with. Right, gang. So let's actually kick off and let me tell you about each of these candles. I will read you the scent notes and then I will obviously tell you what I smell. Now, in full disclosure, I was so excited when these arrived that I have smelled them all, 
but more than that, I've actually burnt three out of these five candles. So I do have a little bit of experience now with burning them. I don't want to say too much about that because I may do some post reviews on some of these candles. But for now, I'm just going to go through them one by one with you guys. And I'm going to let you know what the scent notes are. And, you know, for those that I've burnt, whether I was happy with the performance or not. Now, just to know that these four candles, the two on the top and the two... Well, the one on the left and the one on the middle. These were part of the Halloween range. So a month ago or so, or so, there was a really good sale. So I picked those four up when they were having their sale on Halloween candles. This one over here, Sugared Lychee Martini, is indeed a summer candle. It's on sale on the website. I don't think it's available anymore, guys. I was on the website this morning and I didn't see it there in the sale section. Like I say, it's a summer candle. It was put on sale for around sixty. $16.99 I think and it looks like those are now sold out but I was super excited about this one I'd heard so much about it and to get this beautiful candle for $16.99 yep I had to pick it up but before we get to that one let's perhaps start with the Halloween candles that I picked up the top two you can see this one is mummy marshmallow this one is vampire venom both very very much Halloween candles in terms of the labels and the names these bottom two were also released as part of that Halloween collection or with the Halloween candles. But to me, these are just scents that could be used any time of year. Their labels are not specifically, well, I shouldn't even say specifically, their labels are not Halloween at all. So yes, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with Vampire Venom. So look at this gorgeous label, you guys. Oh, with the bats and the old buildings. I mean, I don't think I actually need to turn the entire thing around because I think the images are, are sort of duplicated around the, the label. But I was just so impressed with this candle. Absolutely, um, you know, loved the look and feel on, of this one. And so I decided to pick it up. So like I say, this one is called Vampire Venom. Let's have a look at the scent notes. So the scent notes on this one are Black cherry, midnight blackberry, pomegranate, and patchouli. Now, this is one that I have burnt, you guys. So I gave it, I've given it two burns. It burnt really well. I had no problems with the wicks. Um, as you can see, the color of the wax there is sort of, to the naked eye, it's 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 not a hundred percent gray. It's almost got a it's it's gray with like a greeny tinge to it. You can also probably see that the wicks are nice. I had no problems with this burn, and I really did like the smell of this one it is very halloweeny but it is quite um patchouli prominent so if you are not a fan of patchouli then probably give this one a miss i really enjoyed it the couple of times i burnt it i'm not hopelessly in love with it it probably wouldn't be a repurchase for me but i am definitely happy to have it and i was definitely happy to give this one a try and i just love the look of these candles they are heavy they are solid the lids are nice and of course the labels are just in my opinion the best in the business so i was very happy with that one so let's put that one to the side um, I'm just noticing now my window over here is giving a little bit of a glare. Just give me a second, guys, while I just try and drop the blinds on this window. Okay, gang, hopefully that is a bit better. It seems to have taken away a bit of that glare that, that I was getting here from the left. So let's move on. So next candle, Mummy Marshmallow. Now, again, just to show you this label. I mean, look at this, guys. <laughs> For a Halloween label, isn't this just so awesome? Okay, so we clearly have a graveyard scene. We have a hand coming up from the grave and just very, very Halloweenish, very, very fun. Um, I don't have any problem with labels like this. I know some people it's not 100% to their taste or Halloween is not for them, but I find it very fun and I love these type of labels. Okay, so this one is called Mummy Marshmallow. It is another one that I have burnt. It also performed absolutely perfectly. I'm not going to take the lid off and just show you. It's just plain white wax um, and it really did perform well. But let's first just have a look at the scent notes. So the scent notes for this candle are whipped frosting, candy corn, vanilla fluff and tonka bean. And oh my gosh, you guys, who does not love a beautiful, sweet marshmallow vanilla type candle? And this is exactly what I got from this one. When burning, the strength of this candle was actually more or, or stronger than I thought it was going to be. Oftentimes, these vanilla 
type candles are not very strong and you really battle to smell them. But I was burning this one in the bedroom and I could smell it quite clearly. I have burnt it twice. The interesting thing to note, when I was burning this one, I got a slight chocolate sort of fragrance from this candle as well. Now, as you can see, that's not one of the scent notes. There's no chocolate or supposedly no chocolate in this candle, but I did pick that up. Um, it was only slight, so if you are not a chocolate fan, do not necessarily be, be put off by that. But what I can also tell you was that this was the first candle that I took out of the shipping box, and it was the first candle that I gave, um, or that I sniffed, <gasps> and you guys are nearly passed out with how amazing it was. I just am not sure that there's another brand at the moment that is doing scents like Homeworks. I am so impressed with all of these, and especially this one, because I love my vanilla marshmallow scents, and on cold, this one, I would give it a 10 out of 10 in terms of scent appeal. When burning, I still really loved it, but probably about an 8 out of 10. The fragrance did change slightly when burning to, you know, cold sniff. Like I say, when burning, I got a slightly chocolate note to this one, but only slight, and it was still a lot of vanilla, marshmallow, um, um, fluffy type of scent to this one. Well, I mean, the word fluffy is probably not... <laughs> Not 100% correct, but I think one of the, oh, it was vanilla fluff. Maybe that's why the word fluffy got in my head. But yes, an absolutely divine candle. If you do love your vanilla scents and if you have a room, like a more closed-in room where you can burn this one, then I would definitely recommend it. I love that one. Right, now let's, oopsie, I nearly dropped that candle. Let me just move it over there. Okay, so now let's have a look at black Plum and oak. Now, this is a candle that I haven't burned yet. I haven't burned this one, um, haven't had the time yet, but again, just showing you the gorgeous label. Just a photo, pretty much, of fresh plums. And yeah, another, I mean, these labels, guys, for me, these, these labels just absolutely knock it out of the park. So let me just show you the color of this wax. Isn't that stunning? You can also see here that you have the wick protector and the wax protector on here. I haven't taken that out yet um, because obviously I haven't burnt this candle yet. But look at this dark red, beautiful Christmas color, actually. Um, so, yes, black, plum, and oak. The scent notes on this one are black plum, fresh apple, oak wood, forest oak moss. So, because I haven't burnt this one, let me just give it a sniff again to... Yeah, guys, it's really good. It's actually not overly fruity. It's actually got quite a deep base to it. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness and I'm not getting a, a high, you know, summer type of fruit note to this. This one is much darker and much deeper. And I wouldn't necessarily say that I could specifically pick out plum and apple. But I can definitely pick out sort of dark fruits and then maybe a slight woody sort of undertone to it. But but not it's not like you would definitely say, oh, this is a wood candle. It's not smoky. It's not woody to that extent. But um, just saying that, yes, I definitely pick up some fruit, dark fruit. This is a very basic candle. Can't wait to burn this one and to see what I think. Okay, next up. Forest Blackberry. This is another one that was getting rave reviews. It was or is a new candle, I think, for, for the season. Just to show you quickly the label. Again, beautiful label showing blackberries and leaves. So another stunner. <laughs> another stunner in terms of the label, in terms of the color. Very similar, if not identical, to the black plum and oak in terms of the wax and the wax color. So beautiful coloring there. Let's have a look at the scent notes. Scent notes on this one, you guys. Wild blackberries, sparkling red currant, and you pear, and forest moss. Now, I don't know what forest moss is supposed to smell like. But, oh, sign me up for this one. This one is even nicer than the black plum and oak. I prefer it to, that, to this candle. Or let me phrase that again. I prefer forest blackberry to black plum and oak. This one is slightly brighter, slightly lighter, not sort of as dark and heavy as black plum and oak, but also just a beautiful smelling candle. I can definitely get the um, 
or I feel like I can get blackberries there, maybe enhanced by the red currant. Maybe the red currant is picking the scent up a little bit and getting giving it a little bit more brightness. Oh yes, really like this one and I'm excited to burn it. I also think in, you know, for Christmas time, this could be a very nice candle. You know, in South Africa, our Christmases are hot. December is a hot month for us. So we don't get the snow and the cold temperatures and the the wood fires and all of that that you guys get. We are often outside, sitting in the sun, reading books, drinking wine in the sun. Sometimes people go away in December because it's our big holiday season. So lots of people spend Christmas Day on the beach. So <laughs> probably very unusual for you guys to think of things like that, but it's true. Anyway, so these two candles I am going to burn shortly, but like I say, I haven't burnt them yet. Okay, moving on to the very last one, guys, and one of my favorites. This, like I already mentioned, was from the summer collection, and this is Sugared Lychee Martini, and look at this label, oh, I love it, cocktails, lychee cocktails, nothing better, and like I've said, we are now in summer, I know those of you in the northern hemisphere, you are in your fall or autumn season, going into your winter, we just coming into our summer now, and so this was the very first candle that I, I, I burnt out of all five of these Love this one, love the look of it, love the label, love the name. And guys, I can tell you, love the scent as well. So this is a, a white a white wax. I don't need to show you all of that because the, the wax is white. So let's have a look at the scent notes. This one has scent notes of chilled premium vodka, sweet lychees, raw sugar, oh, sorry, raw cane sugar, and a hint of vermouth. So two alcohol notes there, but guys, I don't really pick up on an alcohol smell. Oh, I just get sweet lychees. That's what I get. Do you guys get, and do you know those lychees that come in the, the tins? Uh, in the syrup in the tins? I'm sure you guys must get them in the States as well. We get them here in South Africa. That is what this candle smells like to me, although perhaps the lychee scent itself is a little bit more realistic and a little bit fresher. But it's almost like you've just opened a, a, a tin of those, those lychees. So you've got the lychee sitting in that sweet syrup. That is what I get from this candle. If you are not someone who, who likes alcohol scents, please do not worry. Vodka as an alcohol itself is not very strong smelling anyway in, in the real world. And the same with vermouth. So I don't specifically pick up those scent notes in here. If they are in here, then, I mean, I can only presume that they are in here, but then they are in the very back distance. Because to me, this is just a sweet lychee smell. And yes, I could picture this being like a martini, because like I say, I'm almost really smelling that smell that you get when you open a tin of, of tinned lychees. So guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Also, sorry, just to let you know, also burned marvelously. All of these three that I burnt are like really good performers in terms of there were no problems with the wicks. There were no puny wicks. I could smell everything. The lychee martini one, at first I tried to use it in our TV room and I really didn't smell it well there. So then I moved it into our um, middle bedroom, our spare bedroom upstairs where I've been spending a few nights. That's a whole other long story. My husband hasn't been well, but um, I didn't want to catch his germs. So I was sleeping in that room. So I moved this candle to that room. And wow, guys, that room is probably, I'd say, a small medium size, like a medium size, maybe leaning towards the smaller size. And I tell you, in that room, this candle was strong. I could smell it perfectly. So again, I mean, in conclusion, I'm someone who really does believe that scented candles, and, and you know why, let me just detract before I finish that comment, you know why I think this, because I have tried over the years so many different brands in our open concept areas, and I just can't smell any of them there. So I am someone who, through trial and error, has come to the conclusion that scented candles are best used in closed-in rooms. I don't even think the room necessarily has to be small, but it has to be closed in, in terms of it can't be open concept or open plan where you have large 
rooms just with no walls between them flowing, the space just flowing completely into, you know, the spaces flowing completely into each other because the candles just really in general, not in my home anyway, and not in our previous home either. So I'm someone who does tend to burn candles and the candles that I buy enclosed in rooms. Now and then, if something is amazingly blow your head off strong, I will try and put it in our kitchen or thereabouts and see if the, the scent travels a little bit into the, the dining room and the lounge because that section of our house is open plan. But in general, I tend to burn candles in bathrooms, bedrooms. I'm unfortunately not allowed to burn candles in our main bedroom because... <laughs> Because my husband actually hates, hates this hobby of mine and he actually, in, in fairness to him, has very bad sinuses and the candles really set his sinus problems off. So we have an agreement that there will be no candles in the bedroom, which is fair enough, but I do burn a candle every afternoon in our bathroom. I burn them in, like I've said, the guest loose and other bathrooms in the spare room when I'm staying in there by myself and also in our TV room he sits on one part of the couch where he opens the window next to him and so we have an arrangement that that is okay but in general I don't burn them in open concept areas and so I would recommend the same with these to get the best out of these candles perhaps try and use them in closed in rooms okay guys I have been waffling now for nearly 22 minutes so I think it is time for me to say goodbye and happy candle burning friends Thanks for watching. Bye.